just be yourself, try to do your best from you every day. And then every can look at you and say, I want to be the same like this man. I hope I will be the same. Welcome to I Share Hope, the podcast where world leaders share their real stories of hope and how you can use actionable hope to start changing your life today. And now, here's your host, Chris Williams. Hello, Alexi. How are you today? I'm good. And Man, you? I'm doing great. It's good to talk to you. It's a good picture. Yeah, great picture. Yeah, it's fantastic. And hear you well, see you well. It's great, man. So make sure I get your name right. It's Alexi Bedolin, right? Yes. Great. And dude, you're huge. Like, you're a monster. You're as big as you are in the pictures. No, you... no, it's just, just a picture. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> so how much do you work out? Uh, you mean uh, like for sport? For sport, like lifting and yeah. wrestling. How yeah. how much time do you actually spend working out? Uh, all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Start sport when I was uh, five. Wow. And still, I, I do something every day. Wow. So, what is your daily workout? For for let me just back up here. So, we obviously do this on an audio and a video means, so people can watch this on YouTube or listen to it on a podcast. And we'll get into the interview here in a minute with the questions about hope. But anybody who doesn't know Alexi right now, he is an amazing athlete and not a guy you want to meet on the uh, on the street if he's mad at you or you're mad at him. So he's got an Olympic bronze from Sydney in 2000. You've got uh, world championship silver bronze, European championship gold, uh, two silver, two bronzes, head coach the national judo team. And amazing dad of uh, two great kids, it looks like. Um, and you're just, you're rocking it. Anyway, um, so what's your daily workout routine like? What do you do on a daily basis right now just to stay in shape? Yeah, usually I wake up at 7.30 around. Then we, uh, we go with the daughter to the school. Mm-hmm. Then I go to my first session. Usually I, I do it in the morning, uh, not for me, for my students, for, okay. for this moment. In the past it was, uh, I did for myself. Okay. But now I, I am a coach and first um, session between 10 and 12 o'clock in the morning. Then I come back at home, uh, spend a little bit time with my family. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the evening from 5 p.m. till 7, we have second session. So no, two, it looks like like this every interesting. day. So two workouts a day with your team, but yes. there's kind of the middle part of the day is free and open for for you and for them, I guess. Hmm. No, no, no business, nothing, just uh, family and sport. That's great! Wow, that's great. <laughs> All right. but, uh, of, course, of course, my job uh, as a national coach, uh, I travel a lot, so mm. um, around. 150 days per year. Really? I'm, yes, I'm away from Estonia. Wow. So where are you sitting right now? You're home, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm at home. I, I just came from Tokyo. <laughs> like uh, the past couple of days or a few weeks ago? When? <laughs> Sorry. When were you in Tokyo? A couple of days or a couple of weeks ago? No, no, no. A uh, few days, few days. Yes. Incredible. Monday. Monday. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still awake. <laughs> All right, so you're in. Uh, tell me exactly where you are in the world, sir. But I can kind of get a, a middle picture of where you are. What, what country? What city? Uh, I'm from Estonia, from Tallinn. Estonia. Estonia, yes. And is it? It's, it's a north part of Europe, uh, near of, of uh, Finland. Absolutely. We have neighbors: uh, Latvians, Finland, and Russia. Okay. And you, is it mountainous? Is it flat there? What's the weather like right now? No, it's, it's quite, yes, dark and cold right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Winter time. You don't get much sunshine in the winter, do you? <laughs> okay. Well, no. I, hear a, I hear a child back there. I thought you had like two teenagers. Is there a baby? <laughs> is there a baby no, no. running? Uh, it's fine. He's not bothering yeah. me, but you got a baby too? Yeah. Uh, my, my daughter, she's uh, 14. Yeah. Yes. 
and the, the boy he's uh, one and a half. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's so, great. That's a busy man right there. Uh, one and a half year olds are hard to keep up with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, but man. It's, it's uh, be, be like it. Be I'm like glad. It I'm glad. That's wonderful. Good for you. So, can I ask you our five questions that we ask these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Alexi, as you know, we're interviewing a thousand leaders that are, are leading their community or their area in hope, and we're asking them from all over the world. So you're representing a section of the world and also a section of your profession. So there's there's a certain number of people in sports or in the Olympics or in um, coaching. That would be an area that you're representing also just people from your region of the world. So basically, okay. you're one representative for eight million people. That's how this breaks out. If we interview a thousand people, each one's representing about eight million people. And that's how we're interviewing the world. That's an exciting. So tell me, your son, is son or daughter up there? <laughs> no, it's son. A son? Yeah, yeah. daughter, she is <laughs> a big one. <laughs> <laughs> your son sounds like he's, he's ready to rock and roll, man. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Oh. <laughs> hey, that was his big his big appearance. <laughs> That's great. Is he going to be a wrestler or a judo guy? What's he going to be, do you know? Yeah. Is he going to is he going to be in judo like you are? Yeah, yeah. We we will try for sure. <laughs> not not for the girl, but for the boy. I think it's very good. I think so too. Gives him some activity they need to be into. Okay, question one. What is your favorite definition or favorite quote or your, your belief or statement about hope? Uh, yeah, I, I find from, from internet one very good what is really uh, close to me. It's um, uh, Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. Thought about hope, uh, learn from yesterday, live for today, and uh, hope for tomorrow. So it's re really close to me. Hmm. You said long for yesterday. Learn. Uh, learn. Learn from yesterday. Yes. Live for today. Live for today and hope for tomorrow. Yes. And hope for tomorrow. Mm. From Albert Einstein. That's great. That's a good quote. I've never heard that one. I'm surprised. That's really good. Thank you. So who has been a person in your life who's shared a lot of hope with you? Who's been a great person to, to push you forward in hope? Uh, actually, of course, uh, one of these... Um, one of these persons, uh, it's my coach. Mm. Uh, we start to work together when I was eight years old. And um, I remember when I was already 10, he started to talk with me about Olympic Games and uh, he gave to me this uh, really big hope for, for, I would say, for the first, my, for my big aim. So, yeah, and then every year, we like we we did a lot of, we did good job and um yeah it was close close to to my aim mm. and uh, he gave me a lot of uh, good ideas and hopes uh, for for tomorrow for yes wow. for future that's fantastic that's wonderful that's amazing so at age 10 he was already planting that seed of olympics you could do more you could go farther were you were you an unusually gifted child and really able to do a lot more than most at age ten, or was he just able to really put that in your heart where you started pushing harder than everybody else? I, I actually, I remember when I was ten. Then uh, the coach asked from everybody, you know, as as usual question for for the kids, uh, who want who want to be uh, who who you want to be in the future. And of course, a lot of uh, kids thought about policemen or yeah. forever. Uh, but I was only one who say I would like to be a judoka, wow. judo player. And then I stay in judo more 20 years. And still I'm in judo, but not as a sportsman. Right. Yeah. Amazing. That's great. Not many kids actually have a vision for where they want to be that that young. That's amazing. Good for you. Okay, so... It, tell me about a time in your life where you've really had to use hope to get through something hard. Have you ever had to really rely on your hope to push forward? Um, I, I, I remember very clear 
this time when um, in the first my Olympic Games in Sydney in 2000, uh, I took a bronze. It was really a great uh, success. Mm -hmm. But the next Olympic Games in Athens, I win. I won the first first round, but then I lose, and uh, it was very very difficult time for me in the sport because uh, still I was uh, ready to compete, but in my head, in my mind, you know, something was broken. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this time, I met with one, um, uh, he's my mentor, 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 yes, he's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. Yes, yes, and uh, he gave me, again, he gave me the new hope for the next, next uh, steps in my life. And we talk a lot about uh, these uh, Olympic Games in Athens, and um, this this was uh, very difficult. From one side, it, it was very difficult time in my life, but from other side, it was really great time because uh, in this time I find a new, a new goal, a new aim, and uh, the hope what what he gave me. It was really great, and uh, still I remember, and still we are friends. Uh, not uh, not so close because I finished with the sport, but still uh, we are we are very close. Hmm. And if I need some uh, questions or answers, <laughs> then I connect with him, and yeah, yeah. he's a really great uh, um, man, and uh, he gave me a lot of hope. That's wonderful. That's great. That's really great. That's a that's a really great mentor. It's it's unfortunate that a lot of people don't have a great mentor like that in their life. But when when you do find one of those special people who's been ahead of you in life and can guide you through those steps, that's what well, saves a lot of time and and heartache. It's still hard, but they can guide you well. That's great. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's true. It's true. Nice. And uh, <laughs> I hope. Uh, um, uh, everybody who who needs some some somebody, they they can find it. Mm -hmm. Just you need to be open and you need to be like um, ready ready for for talk. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if you if you have some problem in, in inside, mm -hmm. it's really it's really uh, difficult to share with somebody. And if you find this. Um, uh, power to talk with somebody and to uh, ask him and then he can help you so this is one of the best ways hmm. to, to find the hope you're right you're right that's fantastic good example thank you question four is how are you sharing hope today in your life how are you reaching out and giving hope to more people actually as I told you in the beginning uh, um, learn from yesterday and uh, live for today so i i learned from yesterday i mean from the past i learned a lot about hope and now i i know what i talking about and uh, with my students with the parents with my kids with my <laughs> with my daughter uh, we we talk about the future we talk about uh, hope and it's very important to to analyze your daily life mm. and uh, to, uh, to to ask what you what you want and uh, uh, I'm as a experienced uh, person I can give you hope for tomorrow every day we we try to find these um, answers for the new questions mm -hmm. and uh, I'm this man who is really open and try to um, to share with everybody, with my experience and with my ideas. That's great. For example, for example, I um, I moved from one school to other school and talk with the um, different age uh, students. Uh, for example, like I was ten years old, mm -hmm. uh, with this um, this kind of uh, students, we can talk about. Uh, the uh, hope about the future and uh, when they're 15 i mean the students then we talk about uh, some some different topics but still everything what uh, we talk it's move us to tomorrow to 
to hope for the good life for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. So you're really, you're mentoring people younger than you. So you've, you've told a story here of, of being young and being encouraged and, and driven to hope by a coach. And then even when you're in the middle of your career, being mentored and guided by coaches and mentors. And now that you're not the one competing in, in the event, but you're mentoring not just the next athlete who's competing next month, but you're mentoring the child who's 10 years old who will be there in a decade or two. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I feel I feel it's uh, one of my, uh, I would say, uh, one of my you know, part of me. Hmm. I, I need I need to talk to I share I share this hope and I share my my um, <laughs> one thing. Now um, I, I share my um, yeah, over. Uh, experience. experience sorry. Uh, hey man, your your English is great. Your English is way yeah. better than most people from America. Your English is way better than most people from America. So you're you're doing really good. <laughs> so sharing your experience that now the Einstein quote that you mentioned, which was looking back and looking at today and looking at the future, I'm really seeing where that's playing out in your life because you're you're playing all three areas: the past, the present, and the future. I think it's really cool. Nice work. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, and of course, uh, you you do you do also a very very important uh, work and very important job job. Oh. Yes, uh, for everybody, they they need hope. They need to believe. They need to find this uh, what move move them uh, to the future. So I think uh, your job is really great and very important for everyone. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Well, question five, you got one more to go. Question five, how can I share hope with people around me today or, or how can I grow in hope? So I'm not, I'm not an Olympian. I don't have any gold or bronze or silver medals hanging around my house and, I, and I'm not a coach. So what can I do as a regular person to start sharing or growing in hope just when we hang up this conversation? What do I do next? Uh, actually, also one of my favorite uh, um, uh, thoughts, um, the best teacher is uh, example. And I also try to, to live uh, as an example. If I, if I do something, um, then uh, everybody around me, uh, they can do it also. Uh, how it's, it's difficult to explain, but um, uh, I try to uh, teach everybody or to give the hope uh, from my uh, from my daily life. Um, for example, if you uh, wake up at 7:30 every day and try to do your best in your life, th then you can uh, just um, talk with somebody about your life, about your um, means, or about your thoughts. Mm. And um, this person, if uh, he really like you, and uh, he just uh, take this, uh, you know, these ideas, and um, he ask you some new questions, and you give to some, to him some ideas and answers, and then then from this uh, connection, uh, he can get a new hope for tomorrow, mm. for sure. So my my of um, I would say um, I can tell to everybody just be yourself, mm -hmm. try to do your best from uh, from you every day, and then every can uh, look at you and, and say I I want to be the same like this man. I hope I will be the same, mm. and it's give it's give really big hope. That's a great example. Thank you. That's a really good idea. I love that idea. Being it's something so tangible that we don't have to be an expert or a superstar or a super yeah, athlete. Exactly. Everybody can do that. Hmm. Exactly. Awesome. Just, just do your best. Uh, everybody have some talents. Yeah. I'm believing this uh, for sure. Just uh, hmm. give this uh, talent to to the others. Mm -hmm. Just show to, to them. Uh, everybody can can be the. Mm, how to say they, they can be the best in uh, one of the um, 
Huh? Field, yes. In their field, love it. Yeah. Gotcha. Is that your daughter back there pitching in on the English? No, 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 my, my wife. That's great. <laughs> I love it. He's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing you're doing a killer job. All right. So tell me, how can we find out more about you? Where where are you online where we can see what you're doing? Social media, websites, whatever. Uh, actually, yes, Facebook. One of the possibilities. Yeah. And yeah, I okay. think Facebook. Yes. Everything what I what I did and what I do, everybody knows about this in from okay. Facebook. Okay. Cool. That's great. I'll look it up and I'll put the links to your Facebook pages and any websites, anything like that. I'll put that on our website at iShareHope.com. So anybody listening or watching, if you go over to iShareHope.com mm -hmm. and look for Aleski's uh, interview, we'll have all the different details there so that you can find out what he's doing, Hint pictures and videos. And I'm going to try to find a video of you uh, in 2000 in the Olympics. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sure. I love watching that stuff. That's great, man. So, all right. Uh, can I ask you one or two just random questions to make sure I get my yes. curiosity satisfied? So, does there a time when you're when you're in competition, um, when you were or when you're coaching now, even as a coach, is there any time when you just, you feel like, oh no, like, I am so not going to win this. And it messes with your head, or are you able to just flip a switch in your mind, and you have enough confidence to go through and just win? Because I hear for athletes, a lot of it's in your head, not just your physical strength, right? Yeah. Is it is it hard to flip that switch and say, "No, I can beat this guy," even if you think he's bigger and stronger? Um, actually, um, every time when I was compete, and still, still uh, till now, um, I believe in this. You should give your best. And then just uh, leave it. I mean, the result of uh, this match or of this day, you just leave it. Um, if it's good or not, it's not your problem. Just you need to give your best. Mm -hmm. If you give 100% uh, in a match and you lost, then you can say, okay, he is better than me, but I, I gave 100. I gave 100%. So mm -hmm. uh, for me, all, all, all was uh, uh, all the time was the same. So it uh, gave to me this feeling. Um, I I don't remember very hard moments. Of course, when you lose Olympic Games, then. But still, I gave I gave 100% in these Olympic Games. It just wasn't my my time. Hmm. You know. So, yeah. Yep. No, I get it. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay, I hear that. That's fantastic. And then training, training for you now, what do you, so what do you do to stay, you're in phenomenal shape. I'm sitting here, if, you, if you're on the podcast or just listening, you can't see this guy, you should go to the YouTube channel and look at it because this guy's he's big. Uh, I'm sitting here staring at the screen, he's huge, got this neck like a bull, and uh, he, he looks like he works out nonstop all day, and he's got a cute little teddy bear in the background, which is just perfect. Um, <laughs> but what do you, what do you do right now as your workout? Do you lift weights? Do you run to stay in shape as just a guy? How do you, how do you stay in shape? Cause a lot of people would like to get in better shape. Actually, I would like to play football. Okay. Yeah. Different, uh, different football, futsal, uh, beach soccer yeah. and outside, inside. So, uh, I really like and uh, of course, uh, some uh, some running is also good, especially when I am uh, out with the team. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere, for example, in Japan, uh, I have some time to be, you know, to be alone, to mm -hmm. uh, take my thoughts and just go out to run. So not so much powerlifting because uh, I did it 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of sick of that now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some judo also with some uh, young guys. Yeah. It's uh, really just uh, for fun and it, it's good experience for them, mm -hmm. but for me, just for fun. That's great. Yeah. Great. I love it. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you. Tell your family thank you for letting us have some of your time. I know you've got things to do as a dad. You're in town a few days a, a month and you need to be, be a dad. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a great and talking to you. I hope we see you again. Somewhere. I hope so too. I look forward to it. Okay. Thank you.
Bye bye. Thank you very much. There you have it, Alexei Budolin, an Olympian, an amazing judo athlete. He's uh, competed in several Olympics and holds the championships from all over Europe. He's really, really a talented guy, coaching another team now. Now he's the national coach for the judo team in in his location. And, you know, it's it's really cool to see a guy like that. His quote from Einstein referenced the past, the present, and the future, hoping for that future, but but remembering the past, living in today very well. And he's doing all those things. And he's been a great example of how mentors are so important in our lives and how it's important to be a mentor to somebody else. You know more about something than somebody else does, I promise. And you can mentor them through those things. You can teach somebody what to avoid or what to pursue in life. We all have that opportunity. And we all have somebody around us who can probably help us navigate the thing that we think is currently a hard situation in our lives that we could maybe navigate with a little more skill, a little more wisdom. It's great to have somebody around like that. So go get a mentor, be a mentor. Find somebody you trust and uh, and be a trustworthy person for somebody else. Great seeing you. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for being part of this interview process where we're interviewing a thousand people from all over the world. Let me know if you're mentoring somebody right now or you're being mentored with somebody. I'd love to know. Just let me know at Chris Williams HQ, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you are. Uh, Chris Williams HQ is the handle that I'm at on most of the social media channels. So I would love to know if you're mentoring somebody or you're being mentored by somebody else. Please let me know how that's going, how it works. What do you do if there's a structure or if it's just a casual, hey, we eat lunch once a month or if there's a, a book that you work through together. I'd love to know how that works out so I can kind of learn, figure that out. I want to learn from it and then also I'd love to share it with other people. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Great seeing you again. You've just listened to I Share Hope. If you're ready to make a change, head to our website at isharehope.com and claim your free copy of the top 10 actions of hope from world leaders to use hope in your own life. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next time.